Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Avery Denison and Impin webinar uh, discussing how to ensure full visibility of the supply chain with RFID. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate your input. Uh, before we start, I've got a couple of notes. Uh, you will receive uh, the recording of today's session uh, later in the day. Uh, we encourage you to ask questions. Uh, please type them in the question box uh, on the right hand side. Uh, we will answer as many as we can uh, towards the end of the session. If the time doesn't allow us to do that, I will get back to you after the session. Uh, I've got two industry experts with me today. I've got Vincent uh, Videline representing Impinch and Frank Smith representing Avery Tennyson. Uh, the speakers will walk you through today's agenda, uh, starting with the biggest uh, inventory management and shipment challenges. Uh, they will discuss how RFID tags can unlock a more complete view of data. Uh, they will talk about RFID innovations and how can they support for uh, better inventory shipment and RTI management. And finally, uh, they will show you some of the great RTI RFID success stories. Uh, over to you, gentlemen. Enjoy your session. Well, good morning, everybody. Also, welcome from my side. Great to see so many people joining from the RFID ecosystem. Always a pleasure to do these kind of webinars. So like we mentioned in our first webinar, we especially in the current COVID-19 situation have to recognize there are problems in the world we are facing. And just some numbers to illustrate this. Number 10. 10 is the number of times that the average garment is worn before disposal. Number 40. 40% of all food waste is caused at the supply chain level. And the biggest number, 120 billion. Beauty pollution is worse than ever with the global industry creating 120 billion units of packaging every single year. Across AVD Denison, we're harnessing our core strength, applying to sustainability the same creativity, determination and passion for problem solving with RFID that we bring to our customers. And by 2025, we have pledged to deliver innovation that advances the circular economy, reduce environmental impact in our operations and supply chain, and be a force for good, adding value for all our stakeholders with all our RFID solutions. And RFID can solve many different challenges we face when looking at the supply chain. In many areas of the world, we have a lack of people to work in logistics, where RFID can enable automation. Also, using RFID can mean that you can improve your productivity within an existing facility by, for example, using RAIN RFID to automate the route of a box on a conveyor belt system. Shipment errors can be a thing of the past when automatically checking pallets on right content and checking at loading bays and dock doors if the right load is going into the right truck. When I'm reading RFID in a later stage in the supply chain, or by combining RAIN RFID with other technologies like GPS or LoRa, you can increase real-time visibility of the goods. And we at Avery Dennison also invest in new sensor technology, enriching this RAIN RFID data to even further increase visibility of the goods and their condition. With all this real-time live data, you then can also optimize routes enabling cost reduction and less pollution in the world. With knowing exactly which load is where in real time and connect the RAIN RFID data within an existing software architecture that holds, for example, other data like weight, you can ensure you fill your truck with a maximum load allowed. And another great advantage of using RAIN RFID enabling real-time data is when you know instantly when a pallet has arrived at, for example, dock door number eight, for which a truck is already waiting at a cross dock operation at dock door number 120 at the other side of a warehouse, instead of waiting until all pallets are offloaded and then have to be scanned manually. And with Impinch platform, 
we are providing a rich development stack enabling new system integrators to customize our RENRFID technology for the targeted use cases at your customer premises. As an example, a doctor automated monitoring to update the inventory of specialized meat containers, how many units, which units, which truck will carry them, which location will receive them. By simply delivering the specific state of the physical assets, such as their directional movement, Impinge offers differentiated capabilities that permit you to innovate for your customers and ensure the design solution to work efficiently with these business systems. Our unique transition capability, that is to say, monitoring the entry or the exit of items crossing a specific boundary, has been designed and is constantly improved to enable the greatest business values for your solution design. A software intelligence delivering three pre-configured scenarios based on placement of the reading units. Side-by-side, -side, overhead, offset overhead. A structured data set reporting the movement of REN RFID tagged items. A specific elimination of false positive with our stray mitigation feature. I mean by this, not reporting physical assets stored or moving before or after that boundary. A complete and autonomous detection empowered by our intelligent algorithm. And with this unmatched capability in the auto ID market, we enable your design solution to qualify the compliance and the accuracy of any movement of your customer goods. So why do we consider that transition matters a lot in supply chain? It gives the ability to monitor the movement, the direction, the identification of physical assets at item or packing level to generate an immediate justification of the shipment and report on container usage. We, Avery Denison and Impinge, recognize that is the number one challenge in logistics. Solving it permits to correct the expensive cost of a misshipment, loss of resources, time, penalties, customer dissatisfaction. This process excellence, this efficiency matters more and more due to the exploding demand of online business, the competitive marketplace, and also the increased regulatory pressures. The recent crisis has demonstrated this fundamental need to redirect the supply chain with the addition of new suppliers and for sure a diminished workforce. The benefits of visibility at the top door are numerous and proven by several key customer REN RFID deployments. I would like to mention three benefits. One, electronic proof of delivery providing evidence for dispute resolution between suppliers and customers. Assets are known, I mean visible, at packing level, at item level, when completing with content verification. And customers can proactively be informed about upcoming orders and be prepared for receiving. And last but not least, we would like to remind that automation creates visibility and that visibility is essential for the right flexibility of your customer business processes. By improving supply chain visibility, Impinge means a technical solution that automates the shipping processes with accurate real-time data as goods move in or out of a dock door. An easy verification that enforces for the right items at the right quantities to be shipped to the right customer every single time. That is the best, most reliable and cheapest way to quickly and accurately receive and send shipments with REN RFID technology. But one size does not fit all. An impinge reading units and transition capability are providing flexibility for the placement of the reading units 
with three pre-configured scenarios powered by impinge software intelligence. By deploying at the top door impinge automated components with our tune algorithm, you can easily extend this initial solution for other supply chain use cases, such as content verification, pallet build verification. This solution makes supply chain and logistic systems much more efficient, less prone to error, and more accurate than any other traditional asset tracking. For most businesses, depending on inefficient logistics, returnable transport items is a way to significantly increase productivity. It's also an interesting lever to power sustainable practices within your customer supply chain. Indeed, rather than regular carton, companies can choose from those plastic bulk containers, pillage cages, kegs, Boats using the specialized Rena RFID inlays designed by Avery Denison and powered by Impinge IC. Those containers are easier to pack, to handle, to transport while providing maximum protection for the goods. Investing in a fleet of RTI is motivated by its simplicity to be reused and to be returned. Shipping a product in a reusable plastic crate rather than a cardboard, a metal keg rather than a plastic container that will be used only once, it means less waste for our environment and better use of resources. Think about the numbers that Frank was mentioning at the beginning of his presentation. Without a proper connected solution, we, Avery Denison and Impinge, see many challenges to manage those RTIs. Annual loss means replacing resources that your customer currently owns. Regular cycle counts to manage stock levels is very labor intensive and very often inaccurate. And at that distribution points, your customer have reduced availability of RTIs or might even have the wrong ones. Automating that RTI management means two fundamental points. One, all staff can be made accountable for the units circulating in their facilities. Shrinkage, other losses can be reduced. Cycle times can be significantly optimized with accurate inventory based on the supply chain need. I mean the demand. And second, customers get full visibility and traceability of their goods. And due to the different cycle models, such as closed loop, open loop, or pool, I speak about this RTI management, benefits are for sure tangible, but different. So as we see it, the benefits can be qualified as for asset management, supply chain visibility, or business process improvement. For pool organization, where deposit schemes are in place, you can make sure an authentic RTI is used. You can prevent misuse and protect them from theft. Adding RAIN RFID on RTIs means working capital will be reduced as no overkill on RTIs is needed through accurate stock management and increased turnaround time. You also will reduce transport costs as a result of more effective RTI return management, which also enables driving with full truckloads of RTIs, like I mentioned. And packaging lines no longer experience delays because RTI is being out of stock. And believe it or not, but I have actually seen that, that production of a batch needed to be postponed as not the right RTIs were in stock. And so the batch needed to wait for a new ordered batch of RTIs to arrive. And this really shows how important it is to have clear visibility on stock level of RTIs, not only in your own warehouse, but also of the RTIs at customers. This then can bring a reduction of RTI replacement as a result of being able to identify shrinkage locations. The first case study we would like to show you 
is a very nice one in food supply chain. We already touched based upon in our first webinar. Well, founded in 1945, Mr. William Reynolds started a fruit and vegetable business, which now also offers meats, cheeses, diary, and salads. And the company sells to some of the well-known names in the catering and food service industries, delivering over 3,000 orders each single day. And their mission is to deliver quality of service and care to their customers. Traditionally, many food products and ingredients have been delivered in disposable cardboard cartons that are just used once and then thrown away. And this is not really an environmentally favorable solution. And in recent years, the costs of cartons and disposable of the waste has increased. And at a certain time, many retailers and producers are reaching out to them and requesting delivery in plastic returnable trays and crates to lower this environmental impact, but also to reduce costs. And it was now 2016 when Reynolds was still using 60,000 disposable cardboard cartons each single week to deliver the products to its many customers at around 4,000 different sites. And many of its customers were facing increased waste disposable costs and were looking for a more sustainable approach based on changing from cardboard to returnable plastic crates. The plastic crates being used cost 10 times more than cardboard boxes. And the challenge then was to track these crates to ensure that they were promptly returned for reuse. And the major barrier of implementation was that Reynolds is often unable to get these trays returned efficiently or to prove ownership of the trays that get diverted into other organization. In the first year, 190,000 pounds worth of crates were lost before implementation of RFID. So Reynolds decided to evaluate how RAIN RFID could solve this problem. As a result, an automated tracking system, including RAIN RFID labels was installed and an overhead rain and RFID reader from Impinch was placed at exit and entry points. This provided a solution, and the main goal was to increase inventory accuracy. This was achieved by providing each tray with a rain and RFID tag as an identifier, which is then read by Reynolds when it leaves for a delivery, and is then read again when it's returned empty. And if the trays are not returned within the agreed time period, follow up action can be taken to ensure the customer's bill for the cost of a new tray. Reynolds obviously needed a pair of tray labels to be identical and coded with a unique identifying number specific to that tray, which was then written to the RAIN RFID chip within each single label. Then the process was mutually agreed with all parties to ensure that 95% of trays are returned within the acceptable time period, leading to a dramatic cost in overall tray losses. So combining tags and readers, RAIN RFID provided Reynolds with exceptional benefits across its supply chain, offering a new opportunity to leverage a sustainable solution, reduce waste and environmental impact, and enhance the capability to deliver this quality food efficiently. The ability to move away from using 60,000 disposable cardboard cartons every single week meant 46,000 pounds on cost saving on assembling and managing these cardboard boxes. The crates could be stored nested, so a 40% reduction of storage space was achieved. There is now increased traceability, the inventory accuracy improved, providing quick identification to the associated products within the tray, but also visibility to expiry dates. And with the use of RAIN RFID, they reduced the tray losses, increased tray level utilization, and efficiency. All these great results meant an early six month payout in the first year of deployment already. Let's have a look at another successful customer case in the healthcare supply chain. Pharmaceutical and medical goods are one of the most sensitive and supervised product groups worldwide, which means that any product tracking and management system must be completely reliable and proof against theft, fraud, or counterfeiting. Hanmi Pharmaceutical, one of Korea's largest pharmaceutical companies, employs RAIN RFID to increase efficiency, monitor product movements, and to help them to carry out government-regulated quality management. 
the company already uses Rain Arrow for DTAX to track 60 million products units annually, from packaging to picking and shipping, enabling an automated process from order received to the shipment of a packed garden to a wholesaler. Since 2009, the company has been demonstrating best practice in the handling of sensitive pharmaceutical products throughout the whole supply chain. Hanmi installed an automated picking system to work with RFID using RAIN RFID tags and readers to identify products and to then collect, box and ship those items without the need of any human intervention. The only manual portion of the process, in fact, is an inspection carried out by Hanmi staff as each box is packed for an order. Hanmi's pedigree system, which is used to manage the distribution of individual drugs between the production by pharmaceutical companies and the dispatch to hospitals and pharmacies where they then sold to patients, is just not an efficient distribution management system. It can also prevent distribution of health-threatening fake medicines and solve the problem of unlicensed medicines being distributed in the pharmaceutical supply chain. Easy expiry date management for Hanmi itself, and even furthermore for parties further down the supply chain like hospital and pharmacist, is now easily enabled with the use of RAIN RFID. Hanmi implemented our RAIN RFID tags in the solution. And to satisfy the requirements of Hanmi, we developed customized RFID inlays and tags for their inventory and supply chain management, which features some very small form factors between 35 by 18 millimeter even 15 by 11 millimeter, as well as a special format of 97 by 30 millimeter. And these customized tags and inlay comply with the specific needs of Hanmi, which include tagging even very small vials and ampoules, and feature in-pin monja assays. ROVD system uses a tunnel gate antenna system developed by their own IT department, all based on in pins reader equipment. If you would like to see more about this uh, innovative use case at Hanmi's in the pharmaceutical supply chain, please take a moment after the webinar, watch this great video. Uh, it's a great explanation on how RFID can bring all the benefits. It's a great bedtime story. And so here is a, a third case to this study, uh, this time within the very competitive automotive uh, market. These customers, uh, an international car manufacturer based in the UK, is striving to achieve maximum results with minimum resources and believes in never being complacent but instead focusing on competition and continuous benchmarking. Supplier development teams set a course of, for continuous improvements that mirror the plant's own achievements. This use case concentrates on the engine supply chain, with engines coming from different locations to the assembly plant. The customer's main operational objective is to run its production line at the lowest operational cost as possible with a significant impact on the, of the need to maintain three days of production stock on site. These engine parts as a stock generate significant indirect cost. The space used within the assembly plant to store them, an inefficient staging process, a need to monitor and track manually the shipment's arrivals and so the risk to introduce errors. And last but not least, the real cost in having engine hardware in the supply chain. As a closed loop, the containers are sent by the producer, received at the assembly line by the manufacturer, and returned by the carrier. By choosing REN RFID from Impinch, this car manufacturer was able to deploy a simple solution to efficiently track the specialized containers used to transport the engine directly at the assembly line warehouse. This entire, the entire set of doctors is today monitored with two kinds of placement of RENA FAD units as a side-by-side -side and overhead. This, 
strict flexibility has been a great enabler as it didn't have to change or modify any part of their warehouse and the dog door layout to be monitored. From a benefits point of view, uh, you can read the list, but I would like to highlight a, a couple of points as labor costs associated with the inventory control are done significantly. A reduction of the supply stock warehousing representing up to 2 million pounds of annual saving. Yes, 2 million pounds. Total on-site inventory reduced to two days, which drive significant future saving due to the reduction in space used for the staging and the part stocking. These human-dependent processes were used previously, impacting the business systems with errors and the need to maintain this manual monitoring 24 by 7. The ROI of the initial solution, enabled by our automated components, has been achieved in less than nine months. And last but not least, a very ambitious goal to decrease operational expenditure has been enabled. And this last case study, this fourth one, is also part of the automotive market, uh, but this time from a, a supplier perspective, and that was forgotten on the title. Uh, sorry for this, but uh, to be read, automotive tier one supplier. With operation in 37 countries, representing about 300 sites, Forestia, a French-based company, is the industry leader in the automotive industry with four areas of business as seating, interior, Clarion Electronics, and clean mobility. Today, Forestia is equipping one in three cars and uses cutting-edge platforms in their vehicle interiors to optimize customer experiences, prioritizing wellness and safety, integrating smart surfaces, and pursuing zero emission vehicle mobility. Since 2015, Forestia has engaged in a strategic transformation of its operations, guided by Industry 4.0 principle. I will name two. One, interoperability, the ability of objects machines and people in a business to communicate, exchange data, and coordinate activities. Second, real-time. I mean the collection and analysis of data in real-time, allowing decisions to be made immediately and at every moment. Part of this transformation, Forestia wanted to address OEM compliance issues with their spitting production, meaning not delivering the wrong product to the wrong customer. So they wanted to focus on product quality and manufacturing line op optimization. They took the, de the, the decision to digitize their entire manufacturing operations and were evaluating the best technology to handle the automated monitoring of their seat shipments including the management of the dedicated containers. And after a period of test and evaluation, Forestia has decided to deploy a RAIN RFID solution to monitor the accuracy of seat shipments to its entire customer base, I mean the main car manufacturers in the world. The solution implemented as a side-by-side -side scenario is deployed into 12 of their seating plants, monitoring up to five dock doors per site. With an efficient shipment verification and RTI management as a start, and the overall efficiency of the solution, Forestia has decided to expand it to orchestrate the entire manufacturing process. I would like to highlight the seat part inventory, uh, the monitoring of the preparation for the shipment at item level visibility, and report automatically to the transport management system the specific location of the stillage cages waiting for shipment, 
to improve greatly the time to load. Today, the solution can be deployed in less than a week, including the RENRFID reading infrastructure and the business systems integration. As Forestia states, RENRFID is a fantastic and cost-effective enabler for Industry 4.0 with full automation and real-time data exchange. And with this expanded solution, Forestia was able to increase their plant's efficiency, optimizing their seating manufacturing, and use a, 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 sorry, a bulletproof shipping process. From benefits perspective, uh, reduction with manual tasks related to shipping, receiving, or transferring increase the efficiency in part stocking in their 12 plants, increase the customer satisfaction and OEM compliance, the car manufacturer with up to 99% of shipment accuracy and instantaneous digital proof of the shipment. And similar to what Frank was mentioning earlier, uh, you, following this webinar, you will be able to access this uh, uh, material uh, and watch uh, a video uh, in which Foresia is detailing uh, its project and the deployment of the platform uh, for their warehouse management solution. So choosing the right rain error for the inlay is key for a successful deployment and to get the maximum performance from your RFID system. This all sounds so simple, but we really would like to quickly explain what is important to look at. But step one is to gather all tech requirements and determine how much space you have available for an RFID label, card or ticket on your RTI. Uh, actually, many RTIs have recessed areas for this or a special card holder. And is the RTR made of metal or plastic? And if so, which plastic? For example, ESD containers have a special composition which requires special inlay constructions. Are you looking for the maximum performance to read full pallets with RTIs or is a performance needed to read crates close by on a conveyor belt only? These requirements then should be reviewed against our RFID data sheets and application notes which you now can all find in our new product and solution finder on both the websites of Avery Dennison and SmartTrack. There you will find an overview of all our inlays, sensor solutions, and all our hard tags for RTIs. And also consider which conditions the tag might have to withstand, like UV radiation, washing processes, and mechanical stress. And after then selecting the right product fit for purpose, and most of, important of all, test it. Eh? In US partner in the era of the ecosystem know as nobody else how to do this. And we like to make sure that we have the best performing tags in the market. We realize that demanding application in the industry needs solid testing. Both Avery Dennison and Impinch have these facilities to support this. We as Avery Dennis and recently did a six-figure investment in a hard tech facility in Germany for a large test chamber where also large objects like beer kegs can be tested and even full pallets with loads. And of course, we can test in all international UHF frequency bands. But these for testing facilities, which both we have and Impinch have, can be used by you to ensure the right inlay is used in combination with the right hardware making sure you get the maximum performance. And so uh, we illustrated in the four previous case studies associated with Avery Denison inlays, Impinge Renai FD platform delivers item intelligence to diverse business systems or specialized application. And that results in one, enabling automation and therefore visibility of monitored operations. Two, driving great operational efficiencies and savings due to full traceability. And three, providing real-time data for deep business analytics. As we already mentioned, 
from a dog door deployment, you can easily extend to other supply chain use cases at your customer premises. And I would like to highlight very important examples. One, work in process. Tracking precisely the inventory of raw material or partially finished goods waiting for completion. It can enforce and automate the quality control procedures. Two, a pallet build verification. We know that placing a box on the wrong pallet can drive costly errors. Get every single pallet built correctly before the shipment by inspecting the assembly step and automating the verification. Three, inventory location. As we were mentioning in both examples, Frank and I, uh, we highlight the ability to provide to the transport management system the specific location of pallets, containers, for example, providing the number of the doctor where this shipment is waiting for. And this drive to truck load optimization, a strong and significant saving of time and efforts. And fourth, this is about content verification. Here, uh, a specific guidance, for example, for the pick and pack process, a way to associate the inventory to the container and vice versa. And once this virtual representation of the inventory is available as a digital avatar, it can be used for other optimization and business analytics. Think about uh, the ability on the, based on physical dimension of any product to decide on their exact storage location. This leads to significant profitability gain as it reduced overall space requirements, equipment usage, waiting times, and many other benefits. And as a conclusion, I would say that RENA FID is a technology ideally suited to meet the challenges of RTI asset management by mentioning two important points enabling the real-time tracking of each individual RTI by ownership, by location, by usage, and also from the time it exits to your customer facility to the moment it is returned, and this can be repeated indefinitely. As a summary, the benefit of RTI management mentioned earlier by Frank uh, can be categorized in three pillars. One, asset management. Tracking is automatic with Rena FID tags. No line of sight compared to barcodes. No need of human intervention. Full and effective cooperation of non-infested players is no longer mandatory. Two, the visibility of the supply chain returns and recalls are improved due to constant tracking, uh, also locating of uh, uh, those critical resources. And remember, the right items at the right quantities to be shipped to the right customer every single time. And three, this is about the business processes, improving business processes by controlling and mitigating the direct and indirect costs of RTI. Uh, let me mention three points. The storage, reducing the use of space in warehouse, enabling the automatic sorting and handling. Two, the transport, mitigating and reducing the misshipment, improving uh, the staging process. And three, the replacement, improved life cycle is being proven due to, for example, counterfeiting prevention and very important, an efficient and predictive maintenance of those specialized containers.
Frank, Vincent? Milinche yeah, I was waiting for Frank to, to, to speak. Uh, it was his turn, but maybe he has an audio problem. Apology about this. On this slide, yeah, uh, um, we would like to conclude yeah. the webinar. Sorry, Frank, back to you. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah. sorry about this. Apologies. Well, to conclude, we consider globally that billions of pallets and containers need to be connected. And today, we estimate that only 0.1% of connectable items are effectively connected. There is a significant potential to gain further into vertical scenarios, such as tire production lines, postal services, automotive quality control and part stocking, food packaging, pharma and healthcare product management. All of them are investing actively to enhance the supply chain and logistics excellence and efficiency. We are very much looking forward to work on new exciting RFID products with you. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, we had quite a few questions about whether we will share the recording and the presentation after the session. So the answer is yes. Uh, you will receive an email later on today uh, with the link to the recording and the slide deck. And I've got a few questions for you, gentlemen. So the first one is, what is your experience with readability of packed pallets in warehousing environments, especially if reflections are a big issue? Would you like to start, Frank, with inlays or? Yeah, well, like we mentioned before, uh, it's always about the combination of the right hardware and the right inlay. And uh, every project has its own environment that needs to be looked at and tested. And that, that's actually the reason why we like to cooperate with companies like Impinch to ensure we have a look at the environment uh, and also test the specific customer setup in advance. And so we get the maximum performance out of our setup. And we are complementing this, uh, I would say, with a, a couple of things. Uh, one, I would uh, list uh, the ability for our reading units, uh, those automated components that make the detection to provide different placements that can uh, you know, drive to uh, a much better mitigation of uh, this kind of reflection and our algorithm uh, that is encapsulated into the software intelligence of those uh, components uh, can also uh, provide a good number of the parameters uh, in order to tune this. Uh, but for sure, the aspect of the, uh, the, the, the site survey and uh, the approach of the solution design can be a, a great way you know, to improve and tune the solution. Uh, from this uh, kind of uh, dry answer, I would say that uh, our technology and this technology coupled with uh, inlays from Avri has been deployed in many different environments as we have proven this uh, with our examples. And I think those uh, public references, especially uh, related to automotive suppliers, prove that in very harsh environments where reflection is quite massive, believe me, especially at Forestia, uh, that uh, you know our technology uh, provides uh, the, the right uh, quality and the right uh, uh, you know granularity in terms of setup in order to control this kind of uh, reflection. Okay, I've got another question this time for you, uh, Vincent. How is the direction of passage detection performed with an impinge solution? Um, not not sure if I understand the, the question correctly. I can read that question. Um, so I should I should say the following: uh, We have within our algorithm the ability to understand that a specific item should be a set of items, should be a container, should be a pallet, uh, can be detected related to the direction that it is taking. Uh, within our automated components, uh, we have uh, simply uh, a, a single or a double uh, dimension kind of a wave that can 
you know, detect uh, simply how this uh, item is moving and this uh, item is moving and crossing the boundary. Uh, this can be uh, more detailed, I would say, uh, related to the technical features, but that is, uh, you know, typically to um, you know, explain that uh, these uh, automated uh, hardware components uh, is coupled with a software intelligence that is providing the direction taken by this item. Okay, and thank simply, you. And simply, uh, and sorry, and then simply provided as a, as a structured uh, data set uh, that is in JSON format and providing the different information related to the item, related to the doctor number, related to the number of the reader as an example, in a way to locate where this item did cross that specific boundary. Okay, thank you, Vincent. Uh, and another one, uh, you mentioned upcoming super high frequency. What are your expectations for this technology? Um, if it is the, to me the question, not sure to what we are referring to. Um, sorry for the person that is raising this question. Uh, uh, if it is possible to maybe provide a bit more detail, are you referring to the uh, new frequency that is uh, enabled in Europe? Uh, this new frequency, I would say, will provide the following benefits, uh, better reading precision, uh, uh, better uh, ability to respond even in a strong density and harsh environment, meaning the sensitivity, and the ability to detect uh, more items with a better accuracy uh, will be uh, typically the right benefit with this uh, new frequency that is called EU2, uh, a frequency that has been uh, acknowledged and accepted in the various countries across Europe, not everywhere, based on what Europe did propose for the new specification of this uh, higher frequency. So I hope this is uh, answering your question. Uh, I will be more than happy for sure, you know, to follow up on this. So uh, please uh, contact me or contact uh, the webinar uh, uh, information and we will be able to reach out to you. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, thank you. And we've got another one, uh, a bit specific as well. Uh, regarding the software solution stack, uh, can you tell more on how the software used for nesting uh, the item level to the pallet level is working and the name of this software? I'm not sure which one of you gentlemen can take this. So, related to that, uh, from an impinge perspective, uh, what we are providing with our software intelligence is, I would say, a stupid set of data related to what we have been able to detect as a transition, what we have been able to see uh, in terms of inventory. Uh, all this kind of information, as I have explained, will be structured in a JSON dataset and this JSON data set to be provided with different communication protocol. It could be a RESTful API, it could be a, a message queuing like AMQP, or uh, more those days, and uh, that is becoming a, a standard, a de facto standard, uh, by MQTT. And uh, we will do that uh, from a pool perspective, meaning our software layer is going to share this uh, a data set uh, that results into the inventory that has been reported, into the, the transition that has been detected. Uh, we don't do more than this. We share this information to be used and to be consumed into a specialized application that could be a database, that could be an ERP, that could be a, a warehouse management system or a transport management system, any application that will benefit from the automated reporting from our platform. And what you always do eh, to, to con connect, to come back to the connectivity, eh, if you connect RTIs to a pallet, many times you see that the pallet then has a unique identifier. Uh, the 
traits have a unique identifier. And when then the a pattern is built up with, for example, 60 RTIs, every time a crate is added, you actually add it to the to the pallet. So there's a, a mother-daughter relationship. Any any piece of software can do this, eh? being fed by the uh, data then from Impinch. Okay, and I received a clarification on the earlier question uh, that was about super high frequency. Uh, so the gentleman says that uh, you mentioned uh, UHF and the upcoming yeah. super high frequency. Yeah, I, I think uh, that was related to the new frequency in Europe. Uh, we call the, mm -hmm. the two frequency lower band and higher band. And the, the additional frequency is providing the benefits that I was mentioning earlier, meaning the better and more accurate uh, response when it comes to dense environment, harsh environment. Uh, I hear a question also earlier related to reflection. All this kind of uh, changes and trouble uh, can be greatly, I would say, improved, I would say, mitigated. Uh, from a challenge perspective by using this uh, new frequency. Uh, I would highlight about this uh, that uh, not all the countries in Europe did accept this uh, new frequency band. This is not every Denison or Impinch creating this frequency, but Europe proposing this frequency that is being, uh, I would say, accepted or not by countries. Uh, uh, more detail uh, could be uh, shared by, uh, I would say, email following that the webinar uh, on the, the detail I have mentioned. Okay, thank you Vincent. There are quite a few very specific questions, so I guess we'll get back um, to those questions offline. Uh, there's one more I, I thought was interesting, about how to connect Avery and Impinch for India region. I, I believe it's uh, about both companies kind of reaching out to the gentleman who asked the question. Uh, but any thoughts uh, on that? Do you have any connections uh, with the India region at the moment? Well, we, we do. Uh, we have, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, Frank, I am speaking again, but I will let you for sure completing my answer. But from an impinge perspective, uh, we have uh, specific uh, uh, partners that are typically experienced and skilled with our technology. Uh, and I am sure uh, most of those guys will be also knowledgeable with the Avery technology, but I will let Frank, uh, uh, I would say, explaining this. We will be able, uh, following this webinar, to provide a good list of uh, partners that we have in this region. Yeah, we have uh, people all over the world. Eh? So we have 30,000 employees as Avery Dennison, which means and basically every country, we also have people with RFID knowledge, which are then supported by our RFID core team. Um, so if you need any assistance in a certain country, just reach out to us, to Vincent and myself, and I will be happy to direct you to the right partner in, uh, in any country all over the globe, actually. So. That's the advantage of working with uh, two global leading companies like ourselves. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, we will we'll get back to uh, the, the rest of the questions after the session because they are, they are very, very specific. Uh, thank you, uh, everyone who joined us. Thank you uh, for asking questions. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, you will receive a link uh, to this uh, recording and the presentation after the session later on today. Thank you very much. And we hope to see you at our future sessions. Uh, you will also receive a link to the survey asking you whether you want to join any future sessions in autumn and what topics you're interested in. So we hope to see you at our next sessions. Thank you very much. Uh, goodbye.